Hey what's up guys it's Mac and we're back with another tech review video and today we're going to check out the Rock Ultimize from Rock Gear. We're going to unbox it, check its physical overview and of course we're going to run some of its features and software overviews. We're going to test it with some games and let's find out whether it's a good gaming mice or not. Price at 350 pesos according to rock.ph, 477 pesos, shipping not included if you buy it online in lazada.com. More likely it's less than $10 but I'm not sure if they're going to be shipping this outside the Philippines. So what do we get in the box? Of course, the mouse itself and nothing more. For now, let's check out the physical overview. The build quality material of the mouse is full plastic but it doesn't feel cheap with this anti-slip coating which is very comfortable for my taste. It has a 6 fully programmable buttons and yes, you can also force the left mouse button into something else. More into that later. Just in case you are interested in its dimensions, here are some captures. You could also pause the video to check those numbers out. And of course, if you are curious about its weight, you can check this out. And here's a sound sample of the button clicks. Now, let's check out its specifications. It has an Omron switch rated for 20 million clicks. Unique edge lighting with 4 LED transitions. Take note that it's not RGB, but RGY. It's red, green, and yellow. On the fly sensitivity adjustments up to 2400 dpi without its software, but it can go up to 4800 dpi if you use its software. It also has the 6 foot braided fiber cables and silver plated USB. Now before we look into the software, please take note that inside the package, there are no manuals or download link page for the software. You will have to go to their Facebook page to download those links. But since you are here, you can just check out the download link in the description below. So this is the Rock interface and let's dive into the basic setup wherein you will be able to uh, see the 6 fully programmable buttons. As I mentioned before, you could also force the left click into something else that we have over here and other than that we also have this wheel function wherein it can be either scroll or volume control only so in order for you to like uh, set that up all you need to do is just to apply that and it will function in accordance to what it really needs to do with that anyway let's go back to the scroll wheel and apply that one and over here are the DPI settings wherein you can also set all of those speed in accordance to what you want. And in order for you to change those DPI, all you have to do is to apply that. And just click this button over here to change this DPI in accordance to what you want. Now let's check out the advanced setting. This is where you could change your pointer precision, your wheel speed, and the fire speed which I believe is the left click mounts. And over at this side is where you could uh, change or start doing your own macros. Moving on to the LED setup, by default, the red, green, and yellow are just pulsating. You could either set them to slow, fast, or off. And just click apply. Now, uh, the only weird part about this is the only static color available is yellow so I was uh, I was hoping that we could also change them into static green or red but unfortunately we can't so rock gear um, a little request there can you do that option for us in conclusion the build of the mouse is really nice and it really looks premium I really like the aesthetics of it the placing of the buttons and of course the new rack logo however the only complaint i have is the led lights are not distributed evenly if you will check over here you will no longer see the lighting effects of this mouse for 350 pesos or less than 10 dollars with all of these features included you can never go wrong it's cheap very sturdy with awesome features 
I highly recommend this mouse to anyone who's in the budget and wanted a cool looking mouse for their setup. Well, that's just my personal opinion, but what do you think guys? Please let us know in the comment section below. So that's it guys, if you found this video interesting and helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Of course, if you want some more, simply subscribe as well as follow our socials down at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.